White privilege is a ridiculous concept in my opinion and I'm going to explain why. The concept of white privilege states that people who are born white are automatically more privileged due to the fact that they have white skin. Now obviously there are a lot of problems with this. It doesn't take into account a person's lifestyle choices. So somebody may have been born white yet they made choices in their life that made them more successful, that made them do better, that made them have a healthier and better life compared to somebody who isn't white. And that's not because they're privileged necessarily, it's because they made certain choices and certain lifestyle choices and things that they wanted to do in order to make sure that their life was the best that they could make it. But what about the actual meaning of being white? Are we talking white British? Are we talking white German, white Nordic, white American, white Canadian, white Australian. Like being black, being white has so many different variations to it. You can be black African, you can be black Caribbean, you can be black mixed race, you can be African American, black British, and the same goes with being white, the same goes with being Asian, the same goes with being Latino. So when we say white, what kind of white person are we talking about? Why is this being so generalized and, automatic and automatically assuming that every single white person in the world has the same kind of culture and the same kind of attitude to life. And of course, it doesn't take into account things like class or wealth. And in the UK, the richest dem the richest ethnic demographic of people in the UK is Asians, believe it or not. Not white people, not black people, Asians. Why is it that everywhere you go in this country, you see a news agent and it's owned by a Pakistani or an Indian? Why is that? Maybe it's because Asians actually decided to work hard because they came to this country, they were immigrants just like black people, just like people of other racial demographics, and yet they've decided to make something of themselves and they're the wealthiest ethnic demographic, the least poor. Now I suffer from anxiety and panic attacks and it's really fucking horrible. But do you see me going around saying, oh, you have mental stability privilege or some kind of nonsense. Oh, you don't have panic attacks. You don't have mental health problems. Everything's fine for you. Panic attacks are horrible. They literally affect my life. They make it hard for me to socialize. They make it hard for me to get a job. They literally make it hard for me to go outside because I'm so fucking scared that something terrible is gonna happen. If, if I was walking around bitching about it constantly saying, oh, you people are privileged, what would you say? I would sound like a nut job. I would sound like a petty, immature nut job. The thing is, is that when you have a problem, you can't just expect the rest of the world to make special allowances for you. Yes, of course, people should be compromising and they should be empathetic towards your problems, but it doesn't mean that they automatically need to change for you. I have to adapt because it is my life and I'm the one with the problem and I'm the one who needs to do something about it. That is real power. Saying that white people automatically have white privilege is just an excuse to play the victim card and to turn yourself into some poor oppressed person just because you can't actually admit the fact that maybe you're just lazy and maybe you don't actually want to get off your ass and do the work because why are there so many successful people who aren't white all over the world? If white people automatically had privilege, why is it that not every single white person in the UK is super, super rich? Why is it that Asians are the wealthiest demographic? And on the, con and on the subject of wealth, yeah, I would argue that people who are wealthy do have a certain privilege against people who aren't wealthy. That would actually make a lot more sense if people were saying wealthy privilege rather than white privilege because obviously, yeah, wealthy people have a certain privilege. But again, when you are wealthy, you don't actually choose to be born into wealth. Nobody chooses what kind of country, what kind of economic background, what kind of class they're born into. You don't choose your gender, you don't choose your sexuality. These are things that you were just born into. People who come from wealth typically come from wealth because they're related to somebody who worked damn hard to acquire that wealth. Nobody, yeah, sure, people do inherit wealth from their parents or from their grandparents, but the person who acquired that wealth had to start somewhere in order to obtain that wealth. So if I become really wealthy and I have kids, Kids and they're born into wealth, sure, they'll be privileged, but they only acquire their privilege because of my hard work. You see what I mean? So it's not just, oh yeah, that person just happened to be privileged. They became privileged because of somebody else's hard labor. And that is where the paradigm between privilege and choice come into play. Are you privileged or are you just the result of certain lifestyle choices that people happen to make? 
And I think it's really, really sad that some people would rather just say that all white people are automatically privileged rather than actually looking into account things like class, wealth, lifestyle choices, and the way in which certain people hold certain attitudes. Of course, when we think about, for example, history, historically, people of all ethnic groups have suffered some kind of obscene injustice. Not just white people, not just black people, not just Latinos, everybody. Yes, black people endured the transatlantic slave trade and that is one of the most disgusting things in human history. Of course, it's appalling. But no black person today, certainly not in America or Europe, has any idea what those poor slaves went through. How a black person living today can even begin to compare themselves to one of those poor slaves living during the, trans during the transatlantic slave trade. That is, that is just, that actually shows a lot of immaturity and a massive entitlement mentality because you think that you're born into a well-off first world country with technology and yet yeah, you may be slightly poorer than certain people but you're compared with the rest of the world if you're born in Europe or America you are automatically one of the wealthiest people in this world. You have basic things that loads of people across the world don't have. You have a roof over your head, the government can provide you with benefits, you have free education until the age of 18, you have a lot more privilege than people who are born in third world countries. But again, you didn't choose that privilege, did you? You just happened to be born in a first world country rather than a third world country. To be fair, a lot of really wealthy people do end up giving their money away to charity. That's Another funny thing, people who get really rich, they end up just giving their money away and those who actually do pay their taxes, they get taxed really fucking high. The more money you have, the more tax you have to pay, rightfully so. Maybe before you start whinging and whining about other people's privilege, you need to actually look at yourself, look at your own life and think, how can I make things better? And if I am struggling in a certain area, like me with my mental health, how can I improve and become a better person so that I maximise the chances of being successful in this world? Okay, much more fun than whinging about privilege. I'm Serena Matcha, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please check out my two books, which I published because I'm a privileged British person who has access to Kindle Direct Publishing on Amazon. <laughs> and this is a YA young adult collection of two novellas, and this is my poetry. And also check out my blog and my website, or everything is in the link. Everything's in the links in the description below. And yeah, thanks for watching. Mwah.